Okay, this is the video on how to make your LaserJet 1000 work on Windows 7 64-bit machine. Uh, first of all, I got the solution from this page right here. It's located on this HP forum. The poster is ERPP. Okay, he describes in a full detail what to do in order to make it work. Basically, you need to create a virtual machine on your Windows 7 using VM player that is available for free. And uh, you need to also create a uh, a virtual machine which is a 32-bit Windows XP. Uh, I'll show you what to do. VM player you can get from the VMware website and uh, you can get the copy of Windows XP from the BitTorrent. So you start your Windows XP professional and you install You install LaserJet 1000 printing solution from this website. Okay, you need to install this one and this one, okay? And you install it here into Windows XP Virtual Machine. And uh, once you connect your USB printer to Windows 7 computer, you have to go here, Removable Devices, and you see right here you have LaserJet 1000. It has to be connected. See right now it's connected. Uh, so it shows disconnect, but when you install it, it will show disconnect from the host and connect to virtual machine. In this case, because it's connected to virtual machine, it says disconnect and connect to host. So basically, check this one right here. Then uh, you right click, enable sharing, give it the uh, laser jet name, okay? And in ports, you have to create click USB, okay? USB right here. Same thing for this one. The DOS driver is the one that you use later on to print directly from Windows 7. And those printer connected to LPT1. And this one, I don't know why is it here, but it's also USB. So it prints from, from the virtual machine. But if you want to print directly from Windows 7, you have to go to uh, devices and printers. And you have to add a printer okay and then you have to create a new port local port click next and port name from the same article i'll show you what it is the working port
In this case, it's the name of this Windows 7 computer. Okay, this is the actually it's the name of the virtual computer that you can get from uh, from control panel system. This is this is where the name of your computer is right here. So on Windows 7 you create this port and and then you add a printer driver that is HP 1100MS and that's what I get in my virtual machine this is the driver and it uses the virtual machine DOS based driver to print dire directly from Windows 7 basically that's it if you have any further questions I suggest you go and read this article on hp.com website and I'll post the link to this page in uh, YouTube comments thank you